I don't think people feel vast brand loyalty to Starlink. But when in doubt, it works. It's a known thing. Amazon's Project Kuiper have some real advantages. They've got AWS. An awful lot of the web services that everyone uses today is already hosted in Amazon's data centers. And they're going to do things to tie these together to make it somehow a better deal or that you get better performance. And no, they're going to. There's such synergies there. Starlink has a lot of consumers using it already. All the people most desperate for fast internet service have already bought Starlinks. So they have to do a lot better. I think that if Kuiper comes out with a service that's half the price and twice as fast, they'll win. Being 10% faster, 20% faster, that's not going to do it. People will stick with the known service. Starlink has 6,000 satellites. Amazon just got 27. They need thousands of more satellites. They're talking about launching over 3,200 over the next two years. Another interesting detail is that the head of Project Kuiper at Amazon is Rajiv Badyal, who used to be SpaceX's head of satellites. He was a VP there designing the satellites for Starlink until Elon Musk fired him. Word is because Elon Musk wanted to go faster and they have gone faster. They really did launch five years ahead of Amazon, which apparently has been thinking about satellite services since 2018. So give Starlink this, they are moving faster. So is this good news? Oh, this is great news for us. More choices. I know that Amazon's either going to have to put out a service that's much cheaper or much faster or both, giving consumers more choices, more ways to get on the internet. A lot of our customers are using Starlink right now to get online in weird locations, on ships, on airplanes, on mountaintops, and they're not completely happy. It's not reliable enough. It works pretty darn well. It's much better than what they had before, but to have another choice and to have both, and you can use Speedify to bond the two connections together. They'll both be unreliable, but since they're separate systems, it'll be different times that the different ones go out, and you'll put them together and get a much more solid, much more reliable, mission-critical internet connection by having two dishes to two different services. So I'm super excited. I could follow for more connectivity technology.